the camera. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Karen today I'm going to do another video. Today it's going to be the first time listens for June 2020. Apologies for the delay, it has been a while since the last one, but I hope but uh, we're going to make this video, I'm going to get it over with now. Got four records, but I feel like that's enough really. I'm in the middle of one at the minute, that's going to be the next one for this month, uh, so hopefully I'll start that quite soon. Um, okay, so we're going to get started with the four records. The first one up is Elton John and Leather Jackets from 1986. This is, uh, I thought it was, uh, was not bad. I thought it was not bad. I know a lot of uh, Elton John fans don't like it, and Ike Elton himself even detests, hates this album. It's not all that bad. I mean, Hard to Love the Wall's pretty good. Don't Trust That Woman's pretty good. Uh, Hoop of Fire's good. I Fall Apart's good. Touch Rex, okay, but then. Uh, There's even a contribution from um, John Deacon and uh, Roger Taylor of Queen. And they appear on the track, uh, what's it called? Angeline, on Angeline. So, yeah. Not bad, um, it's good actually. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Leather Jackets, 1986. Um, there were some weak moments in it, but other than that, it's alright, this album. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I don't know that's going to come as a huge shock to people, but I think it's okay. I think it's alright. Bill of Quince is really showing that because. Um, Today I received news of one that I was not sort of half expecting, but my Elton concert I was supposed to see in November has been postponed in the midst of this bloody crisis because of this bloody virus to December 2021. Which means I'll get it, but uh, but it's really annoying me that you know that I have to wait an extra year because you know I bought these tickets, I got these tickets in November of 18 when the tour was announced because this is his farewell tour. And the thing that it just really bugs me that, it, that it's come to this, you know, I really thought it wouldn't happen, you know. This year's just been terrible. 2020's just been terrible this year. You know, but there is some hope it'll get better, but I don't know if it will. I don't know. But anyway, Rolling Stones Let It Bleed, 1969. Really awesome album. It's considered a favourite among many, and it's a really good album. I've previously known the tracks Give Me Shelter, um, and You Can't Always Get What You Want. Um, but I love the title track, Love in Vain. Country Honk is pretty interesting. Um, that's a country version of Honky Tonk Women. Also a really good one called Monkey Man as well. Um, so this was a really good album from 1969. Um, yeah, probably my favourite Stones album, Let It Bleed. Um, let see, a really, really good album. Next was a really interesting discovery. Lou Graham and the album Ready or Not. So Lou Graham is the lead singer of one of my favourite bands, uh, Foreigner. This is a really, really good album. I really like the title track, Heartache, Midnight Blue, If I Don't Have You, Arrow Through Your Heart, Until I Can Make Your Mind, Love Will Come Back. Really, really great album, this one. I really, really enjoyed listening to it. Um, Lou Graham really not. Really, really great album. And of course, Lou Graham's got an amazing singing voice, you know, especially with Foreigner. He was definitely um, the lead singer for Foreigner. And the last one up is uh, Paul Simon, So Beautiful. Or So What? Yes, A Beautiful So What's Called. Yeah, this came out in 2011. It's one that I, I liked. I thought it was a good album. There were some weak moments I really liked. I liked uh, Get Ready For Christmas Day, Dazzling Blue, Love and Hard Times, Run, Love is an Eternal Sacred Light. Amulet was just an instrumental. Uh, the 